Hey guys, we also wanted to show off to you guys our new do-it-yourself pedal kit. And on this particular um, video, we're going to be demoing out a, a dirty boost. We've got schematics for this up online. We've also got a real easy how to build it. And this will just kind of give you an entry point. And if you want to build this pedal, hey, go ahead. It's a really cool boost. It works really well for tube amp or whatever. And it sounds cool. It's a dirty boost because over here we've got a pot that actually starts to gate it quite a bit. And it starts sounding really chunk a little bit. Or it just gives a real gated sound and a lot of distortion. This is your level pot. So it's a pretty easy pedal and it's a great one to build. On the bottom of this thing, you can kind of see that um, this is kind of where Keith put all the traces in with just solder. So it's a really fun way to build a pedal and um, a real way to just buy something like this, put the pedal you want directly onto this board. That way you don't gotta spend up time buying a board of Radio Shack and trying to figure out where to put your power on. The kit already comes where you've got a true bypass circuit already built in here. You got your power on board, you got a nine volt, and it's also set up to take your AC adapter, which is 2.1 millimeter already ready to go for your boss power supply. So let's check out what it sounds. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna zoom out here and get over on um, the amazing Jeff, who's going to be giving us, giving us a little demo for what it sounds like. And um, what's that clean sound like there, Jeff? any of the gating in here. So this is gonna be with the boost, go ahead. All right, real fun pedal, real easy to go boost pedal, um, really cheap to build. Uh, also now I'm gonna add a little bit of that gating effect so you can kind of hear how that sounds. Uh, it gets really gated if you turn it up, so. Um, it's kind of between a little bit, uh, about a, use about a quarter of the pot, or you can decrease uh, the potentiometer you use. And that's really up to you. There's a lot of ways to modify this. So go ahead, Jeff. chunky the note the, the the signal will cut out pretty quickly but if you find that sweet spot in there it can get really neat and a real gated sound I feel like gated distortion so anyway check out the kit online it's a lot of fun